said during the week that you'd take one nil win there and then. You did end up winning two nil, but I mean, if you, if you hadn't sort of come away with two nil win, would you have been disappointed in the win? Uh, no, not at all. I'd never be disappointed with a one nil. But uh, you know, especially in the second half as well. I mean, the first half you can see the quality they had from their delivery. So we spoke about it. Uh, making sure we stay on our feet and we're patient in defence and not giving away cheap corners and cheap free kicks uh, to allow their delivery into the box. And once we got on top of that, you've seen our, I'm pretty sure Holden had the save to make in the second half. So, uh, you know, we give credit to the boys for the discipline in their organisation and uh, Smithy today at the back was superb. And look, the boys really stood up. I mean, it was it was a difficult one without Paul Anderson, who's probably been our best player, and Leon Dwyer was unavailable today as well. But you see people like Wade and Kato Tahara, who was excellent for his first 90 minutes this season. He's only an 18 year old boy as well. So, uh, but I'm really impressed with Michael Scarf, uh, the way he came in and uh, got himself on the ball, and he was really reliable, something that we spoke about we need in the middle third. Uh, he was terrific at that and quickly got a good combination with Nico Bashar. And, Nico was Nico, you know, he got his usual two assists and uh, with some of, the, some of his football, I mean, you can see they, they shared it around, basically belting lumps out of him, but he, he still has the bravery to get on the ball and you know, we spoke about it at half time that there's different kinds of bravery, there's them boys who tackle and there's them boys who win headers and uh, there's boys like Nico that still take responsibility and uh, try and create and try and make things happen when he knows that the opposition just have a look at the early, the early goal, I mean, how much of an advantage was that in the game like? Yeah, it's look, us to the season will be very good. We've, start, we've really uh, targeted the first 20 minutes, and the uh, majority of our games we've got a goal in that 20 minute period. So uh, it was a bit of an odd one as well. You know, we talked about an ugly game, and then talk, Sammy Knight, as, as only Sammy can do, got the top spin on it. He's claiming it somehow, I don't know. But, uh, but Sammy Knight gets his, gets his rewards. I mean, he's, he's full of heart, full of energy. Um, you know, and people like that, you know, we just want to make sure that they stay in the club as long as they can because they're a fantastic example for all the juniors coming through that. Uh, not always the technically the best players are the ones that are most effective. Uh, we've got Sammy Knight who will give 100% and literally wears his you know, hat on his sleeve. All the cliches are coming out here now, but he's, he's just terrific and couldn't be happier with how he's uh, his efforts this year. Obviously, important victory too in light of last week's result. Yeah, look, it's important to bounce back and uh, we've had a bit of a trend of where we win two and then we get a draw or lose one on that third game so it's something that we really got to target but um, yeah, bounce back, get a victory, get three points, a couple of funny results as well last night so it puts us into fifth pretty with two points of Morton Bay uh, and with Brisbane City drawing as well it's, uh, it's a good time to try and get a little bit of a run and we haven't hidden away from it you know we're, we're playing finals football and, uh, we need to win we, what we believe is another six games to ensure that we're in the finals come the end of the season and uh, once we're in there I mean you talk to all the, all the big teams and they always class us as the, the best team they've played against so what's important is that well, we're the best team to play against but we don't get any points off it so that's what we're able to do in the next, uh, next six week weeks. And another clean sheet today. I know you see that every week speaker the fans but again it's Ah, they're brilliant, you know, uh, Smithy and Hensley and just, just the way that they organise and uh, it's just their experience. I mean, there are times where you could ask them to press higher up the field, but uh, then you wait for it to develop a couple of seconds later and then you see them popping up with a vital little toe or a little interception. And, and it's just the other side of it as well. It's They don't just clear the ball and hoof it anywhere. It's it's calculated tackles and then they're up on their play and they see the picture so quickly and that's what experience buys you. Uh, Stevie Lawrence, you know, first 90 minutes at right back for a boy who's just turned 17, just keeps getting better and better and he's going to have a really bright future with us. And tackles. He's having the 10 every week. People talk about the foreign you know, coming in, but that's what they give you, you know, they give you that, that platform and they give you that experience and the professionalism and for, for our youngsters to aspire to.